Good morning, everybody. So we are going to make up those maple beans now. I've done this video. I, don't know, I think this. Oh, sorry, I just kicked you. I think this will be my third time doing this, but that's okay, right? I think they're a little different every time I do it too. <laughs> so in the pot right now, we're going to add 12 cups of water. I have everything pre-measured out this time because I had to wash some dishes and stuff, so I was doing all that at once. And okay, so there was 12 cups of water. We're going to use that maple, that brown sugar syrup. I will scrape these jars out off camera just to save some time on the camera here. Now it's supposed to be three. I accidentally cracked open four, so I'm using four. And in here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. Three teaspoons of mustard, five tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a cup and a half of ketchup, and about a cup of barbecue sauce, and a tablespoon of canning salt, and about a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, that I can't leave to off camera because that will just bug me. Just so much in there. All right, and that's everything. Nothing too fancy going in here. Now what we're gonna do is you need to bring this up. Is you gotta find somewhere to put that. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna bring this up to a boil, get it nice and hot, give it a taste once it's hot to see if it is where you would like it. And then we'll be back. But. So, yeah, and that's really about it. So I'll be back in a few moments once this comes up to boil and I give it a little taste. It'll just be a little taste because there is onion powder in a couple of these things. So if I just have a little, little tiny taste, it won't upset my stomach, thankfully. But I'm not going to go crazy. So I'm just going to give it a little taste. But I'll do that when we come back. Okay, so I gave it a little taste and it tastes perfectly fine to me. So now what we're gonna do is jar it up. Now you can see I got my beans in here. I have half a cup of small navy beans. That's what I use and it fills them up just perfectly. Um, I think that was the only question I really get is about the, the amount of beans. And it's, I use half a cup of small navy beans. And they are very well washed. I wash them at least three times in cold running water, if anyone's wondering. You want to give them an inch headspace. These are pressure canned for 75 minutes because these are pints. If you were doing quarts, it would be 90 minutes. I'm just going to fill this one more jar here. Then we want to debubble. or just give it a good stir. You wanna wipe your rims, get them good and clean. Oh, and then you wanna swat a kitten who's got, standing on a laptop. Simba, hey! Oh, okay. Now, we're gonna wipe a rim. <laughs> oh, she's a tiny terrorist. Then we're going to put a lid on it. One lid, I only need one, just one. That's all I need, one. And we're gonna put a ring on it. Every time that song comes to mind. Do you think she's a secret canner? Do you think? I highly doubt it, but it'd be kind of funny, right? Okay. Fingertip tight. And just so you know, yes, these jars are hot, but I don't have too much feeling in my fingers anymore. That lid is bent. Okay, let's try another one. There we go. All right, so these are gonna go into the canner for 75 minutes, and we will be back when everything is done. And there we go. 
ended up with a dozen jars, which is actually pretty good. So I'll take that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.